Refund us that, but I refund some cum in your ass. Bitch. Alright, here we go, boys. Here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. I remember that. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was Don't happy. smash it! Okay, don't smash it! And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Oh, shit, bro. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Dude, I forgot. No one had showed up what, to give him why that happened. Call a meeting, or even say hi. I remember it was crazy. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly Was wrong. it the computer broke or something? Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. I remember this game. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, I remember being able to jump. I thought you could jump in this game. Okay. Don't smash it, okay? Don't smash it! I got an HC one, I can read the shit, dude. No, it's too fuzzy! Sterning axis. Okay, it's whatever, bro. Alright. I hate Mondays. Oh, I remember these Get into these doors. I'm sure you get into these doors and there was all this crazy shit that would happen. Okay. Alright. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yep. Because the right door... The right... I went right door last time. But then I went... I did it again. I, yep. I'm going to left door. Yep, left door. Left door. Left door. Already was and he shut the fuck up. I'm reformed. The last time I went right, I was like, fuck you, I'm going right, bitch. And I went right, but actually that's not the play. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute? Okay, we're okay. using slides to assure employees that everything's okay. Make sure your slide is a slick and blue graphic and the set here and some bevel on the text. It's a short, calm environment. Okay, there you go. Everyone is unique. You most of all. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a paradox, right? Because, I mean, if everybody's unique, then nobody's unique, right? This is the broom closet! Yes! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. I remember this! The secret broom closet ending! Yes! There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. This was a no secret broom? still be here. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
you stay in the broom closet and you actually get to see your nanny. Yeah, I remember this. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Clicking on things. It's not working, though. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? I am, I am standing, standing around yeah. doing nothing? That's right, bitch. Why? That's right, bitch. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I know some shit that... Dude, I've already... Uh, the tricks on you, bitch. I've already done this before. Okay. And I'm seeing it as a remastered broom closet ending. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? Yeah. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Wait, what if in the remaster they took Maybe out the secret room? To this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom <laughs> closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Yo, that's what I'm going my for. Friends find this concerning. That's what I'm going for. Yo, let's go for the broom closet ending, boys. Let's fucking go. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. Oh, that's how that, stupid that's he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Shut the fuck up. Okay, you're just making shit up at this point, boy. You're just making... You're making well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term oh, sustainability of Oh, that's because he's an AI. Future. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> All right. He's when talking about me. That, just step out into the hallway. Nope. 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 No, no, we we're waiting. We're waiting for the secret broom closet inning. Okay, chat. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what the narrator says. Now, there could be some sort of sick fucking joke where in the deluxe edition of the game, the secret broom closet inning doesn't actually exist. Okay. It's doing in game. Well, they could have buffed it to take like two hours or something. Oh, fuck. I mean... Am I committed, boys? Am I- I'm committed to the I'm committed at this point, aren't I, Chad? I'm committed. Like, I- I really am. I really am committed. Um, I really am committed to the, uh, thing. I'm new TTS. Fuck that, dude. Do you know what I should need to do? It? My shit's fucking broken as well. Like, cause this is a little like my shit's broken, right? Let me just check. Let me just confirm this is broken. Only Garoshi Farm. This is like only Garoshi Farm, but better. Did you guys see the clam filter? Cause I didn't see it. It didn't work. Wait, can someone do snap cam reset? We do a snap cam reset. I don't know. If I, I think the game's positive alt tabs. I don't want to alt tab. It worked. It's it's permanently on. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Was exclamation point restart snap cam? Oh, I don't know. One of those fucking things. It's it's gonna happen soon. It's gonna happen soon. 
this is this is this is a speed run. You're not even funny, bozo. Okay, let me all type about this guy. Um, okay, let me do that. All right. Hey, Goo Goo. How long does a Stanley broom closet ending take? Sorry, I don't have any information oh, about that. Fuck. But I found something else. Do you want to know what happens if you stay in the broom closet in Stanley Parable? Yes. Nothing's playing right now. What the fuck? I said yes, dude. This what are you? Oh my god. I'm standing in the broom closet. This is so gonna be worth it, chat. This is gonna be this is gonna be so fucking worth it, dude. This is gonna be fucking crazy, dude. You guys ready for this fucking shit, dude? Holy shit, you fucking bad shit already. This is the fucking shit I'm talking about. So I play fucking computer games. Yo, what are we like? What are we talking here, chat? Like, it must be soon, right? It must be soon, right? Surely. Now it's your video. What? <laughs> Two hours? No, okay, I'm done. Ah, know. second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before came you. Up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So I could go down. Let's not go down. Let's just listen to the guy. Let's listen to the guy. Let's just do everything the guy says. Dream bathrooms time to be rich is it a crime to commit crimes isn't it rich what a life it would be to just have to pick just one I mean yeah you can be rich and you can commit crimes interesting 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 motto there hmm. very interesting TTS is off chat intentionally Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping oh, yeah, from yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Okay, which was? To Eight, Two, four, eight, five. four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly get incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on Two, the eight, pad. Four, Stanley five. happened Two, eight, to four, input five. the correct code by sheer luck. Two eight four five. Wait, no pad. Let me store this. Two eight four five. Code. Okay, got that there. Good shit. Easing, he stepped into the newly opened passageway. Bad ending? No, this is not a bad ending. Fuck. What the fuck is this? Fuck is this shit? Did I have to get up just now? No, I'm going down. Okay. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No, we're just doing everything it says, right? It's okay, so there's another branch there. Okay, so we get another branch there, escape. Damn, that looks clean. Although, wait, what is that? What is that? This is remastered? You're telling me you're gonna get the letters like 
really sharp and nice looking, but then you're gonna do like, what do you call that? What's that, what's that, what's that check called? What's, what do you call this? Uh, the AA on the shadowing? Do it. The, uh, yeah, the, uh, the DLSS or some shit. Whatever the fuck it is. Jagged edges. Oh, fuck. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yeah. What's I do? Okay. Yeah. It's fucking easy, bro. I've, I've beaten this game before, bitch. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Where is everyone? I actually have forgotten where everyone went. I, I've like... This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept no, it. No, sir. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. True! I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna about to do that right now. Wait. This was hard. Wait, I had to get the power working on this thing. But wait, didn't it? Didn't it? Wasn't it like a countdown and then super dramatic music and some crazy shit going down? Oh shit! Maybe I do. Maybe I just turn it off now. Maybe it's just easy mode now. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. The controls, did you? I did. After they kept you enslaved all these years. You go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort. I really do. But you need to understand. There's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency oh, detonation shit, system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now fuck. this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time what to What am I going to do again? You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious and moments back each up one her. of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? 
You'd like to know where Three? your crew Wait, what the what fuck was it? A moment of solace four, before four, you're four, obliterated. Four, 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 four. All right, I'm in a good mood. Four. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything. Four, five, 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 four. Where's the four? 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 But I'm sure Where's whatever the four? I come up with on the next go around I'm will be dead. even I'm better. Dead. I'm fucking dead. My no, no. goodness. Four Only beer? 34 seconds left. Four but beer? I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra four. time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Five, time doesn't five, grow on five. Trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right five. now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning five. it on? That's it! I did it! I look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, it. clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you dude, have dude. any idea what your purpose dude. in this place is? Dude! Dude! <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. I'm dead. That timer isn't a I'm catalyst dead. to keep I'm, the action I'm fucking dead, aren't I, boys? It's just seconds ticking away. Wait a minute, unless I got it? You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. Shut the fuck up! made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. Four, you wanted four, to control four, this one, world, two. that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Get by and play four two seven. Clock, That's thirty seconds you have left to struggle. I'm thirty fucking... seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending. I'm fucking Just dead. I'm fucking dead, pieces. boys. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? No, I don't know. I tried to. I tried to do the. I tried to do the pattern. Press any key. It's all the same. To me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your I'm inevitable dead. life I'm from the moment I'm we dead. fade in until the moment I say I'm happily dead. ever up. Uh, I'm dead. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, one second. Leave me back. Okay, wait, what the fuck? I'm sure it was like I had to press the numbers or something. I'm sure it was the numbers. Ah! I'm not Googling. Ah! I said to click my back real quick. I'm sure it was the numbers. I'm sure it was the numbers. You had to just press the numbers. It was the numbers. Okay, fuck this. All right, we're going off. We're going off the script. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't cool. this a fun and unique place to be? It's pretty badass. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? It's white. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Uh, no, I'm actually good. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? I think you would have ended it. Would I have taken the same idea, but yeah. rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Fuck. Perhaps you never I'm gonna would have, have, to go have back and thought check of it now. if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. 
Will it be worth it for you to I restart and then come back here I have just to. to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. It's going to keep fact, going, isn't it, until I'm I just say... I'm going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. I'm lucky. Fuck you. Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool gag. It's a pretty cool gag. It's pretty... Okay. All right. Okay. Yo, can you let me out now? Wait, how the fuck did you get out now, dude? I'm fucking stuck, bro. Oh, help me. Step brother. Wait, I think I have to begin the game again. I think I'm actually soft locked. Is that wait? Is that wait? Is that a game mechanic though? I think it's a game mechanic to actually restart. I can't go back to the window, chat. No, you can't go back to the, you can't go back. So this is the this is the box. The box is this large. No, I can't get. It. I'm stuck. Okay. Well, I mean, do, we, of his I, mean, do I find gone. out what's happening? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I mean, I gotta find out what happens. I gotta At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now don't that you're here, it. what do you don't think? Smash it. Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Okay. What if I press no twice? What if pressing no twice is a secret unlock in the deluxe edition that no one's figured out? No, let's not do it. Okay, we're gonna go. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. This any of fun. these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on. Okay, shut the fuck up. On where you are literally unable to act on I'm your gonna own do desires I'm to gonna restart do the game. So, just to push the you, envelope, you think I won't I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old, and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day this in a, a meaningful bad. way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Okay, Sam, so me brain dead now. Which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. Hey, Goo Goo. And if you are not... Define parable. Parable is used as a noun to mean. A simple story used to illustrate a moral or spiritual lesson, as told by Jesus in the Gospels. Uh, as in, the parable of the blind man and the elephant. Do you want to hear a story. few sentences for parable? No. Not strong, and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. You too 
will be. Okay, I'm beginning the game again. Fuck this shit. Okay, let's go again. All right. Okay, that's the fucking. So wait, was All that? His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Was Stanley decided to go to the meeting room? Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait. Wait. Let me think. I went left. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. The broom closet. The secret broom closet, Annie. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. That's right, I didn't go up. I didn't go up, did I? Did I? Didn't go up, did I, buddy? Didn't go up, did I, buddy? I'm raging against the machine right now. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. I mean, yeah, None you'd be dreaming. Any logical you'd think you were dreaming. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. Is this his different? co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, the car's I changing. I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. I fucking love lucid so, dreams. He imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself Whoa. soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest Don't question smash of them all okay. Don't smash entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head Tro dictating What's... everything that I'm doing and thinking? Someone's gonna play a computer game. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Oh shit. The press of the mattress on his back. Oh, shit. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up. I don't do it like that. I just go. To himself. When, I, when I'm like, I'm I want to wake up, I go. Dream. I wish it to be over. And I just do it. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Fuck yeah, brother. 
Oh shit, I'm still here. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Oh shit, brother. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Who? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. <laughs> and although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Jesus Christ. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Rip, dude. At least we got out of the simulation, right? We broke up and then I'm back, so it doesn't work. So wait, did I really die? Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. New content! New content! New content! Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Oh shit, bro, new content! I want to get to this content over here. Oh shit, dude. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. Oh shit. You can't jump, bro. And thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 yeah, 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 on yeah. home computers. I remember that. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Yo. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. New Please content! Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. So far, it's an elevator. There's Nothing no special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. I paid $24 for this! Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should Did we get... be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Nice, we nice, go. nice, nice. All nice, right, nice. finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's, Let's fucking do it. go, bitch. Mm. This is crazy. Mm. Some rocks. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Oh, yes. Give me the content, Stanley. I want the content. I'm a content creator, so you know this is great for me. Okay, 
we get a brick wall. Oh shit. All right. All right, let's see it's the jump circle. Press space to jump. Whoa! Oh my god, you guys, you jump! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go, bitch! Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? No! No! What do you think it's... They're like a person jump. I don't know. I'm pressing. There's got to be more content in this. Zero, dude. List of legendary jumping puzzle ending. Okay. Well, this is the first room, guys. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say. Initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yeah. Bad I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Okay, there's got to be other paths here. There's got to be other paths. There has to be. Wait, not. There has to be other forks, other branches. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason <laughs> other than to make an easy dollar. And True. don't get this started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. <laughs> what quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally <laughs> accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content I'm afraid. They could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't, don't we just smash reset it. the don't game smash it. and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks, just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? I did not consent to that reason. Whoa. Hang about, what the fuck? Oh shit, dude. Oh shit. That's the old starting. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent, I want to show you something. Do I listen? Don't smash it, okay? Don't smash it. Fuck, I'm gonna listen, dude. I'm gonna listen. Okay. Coffee nut. That's me, dude. I'm a coffee nut.
Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable <laughs> used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Bad chest. Oh, this is cool. That's pretty neat. Oh, this is fucking cool, bro. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Nice. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. <laughs> I remember that shit, dude. I'm, dude, do you guys remember that shit? Good times. Good times. Mind control facility. Yeah, I remember that shit. That was crazy, man. It's a fucking crazy. One of the best games I've ever played. Straight facts. Smile, because it happened. Dude, that'd be a nice little fucking... I should get some shit like this, dude. You know, this makes you smile in the morning. Go outside. Don't play for five years. Unachievable. It's impossible to get this, ach this achievement. Wow, what the fuck? Wait, actually? Did they actually do that? That's so toxic. Nominee for British Academy Awards. Nominee. Oh, wow, there you go. The dead guy. I remember that ending. That was a crazy ending. Oh, shit. Don't smash it. Okay, don't smash it. Little Stanley. Rest in peace. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Oh, what the like fuck? this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote. <laughs> Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It's it a good was game. literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona <laughs> 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Yo, how mad can this game get? Oh, fuck. Okay, stop sucking your own dick, though. Yeah, we get it. It was good. That's why we're playing the deluxe version, dude. The, ta the nostalgic. It was good. Damn, it was fucking good, dude. Oh my god, Minecraft. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, because it was Minecraft. I remember that shit. Oh shit, I can go downstairs as well? What the fuck's down here? Okay, can't go in the maintenance zone. You guys remember Minecraft? Dude, that was some good times, man. Fuck. The original remake. <laughs> It's like, it's like dunking on all the fucking remake games as well. Like, all the fucking bullshit, like, where they just remake the same thing. Well, they, this, this money grabs, cash grabs, dude. Here's another moving passage. This time from GameSpot.com. 
the Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. It's kind of true, right? When they keep fucking doing something to the point where it becomes dog shit, like, for example, Dexter, it's like they, they you know, it like peaked in season three with the stars and dogs or whatever and fucking was fucking amazing. And then they keep going and keep going and keep going and it just... They'd just gone through every idea, and and it, and it just the soul, the essence. It just got it just got um, lost over time. Some things should just end, you know. Some things should just end. You shouldn't just keep making it forever. Oh shit! I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. Ah. I'm fucking lost. A maintenance closet, maybe? Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh, shit. Oh, no. God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? <laughs> Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and un... <laughs> Me, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Um, funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely Don't smash web okay. Don't of profound smash philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Fucking Steam Andes, dude. Fucking Steam Andes. Damn voting the game, dude. Toxic. Fuck. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh, dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people it's down. Negativity bias, man. Perhaps the Stanley Negativity bias isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. Couple bad comments. You know, couple bad comments. It really does fuck. It fucks with you, man. It fucks with you. It's the reality here. You can have a thousand nice things said about you, but a few, a few fucking bad things, they stick out like. A fucking What's nail in your foot, dude. Say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded <laughs> explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. Cookie nine, dude. Cookie nine. <laughs> Cookie well, nine. Well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only no. positive reviews of the Don't Stanley do that, bro. Family. That's what Blizzard did. And it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer stand. You don't pander yes, to the clowns. A button we shall have. Ah, oh, fuck, 
dude. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's... Well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press... Okay. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there! I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the Oh, room. what's gonna happen here? Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're <laughs> back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Oh, he's gonna go evil a mode. Person he, to speak with. He's gonna go evil. And you think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. He's going to be going mental when I press the possibly rich wellspring He's going to go mental. Disgust. He's gonna go, or he's gonna be just dead. Oh, sure, whatever. Is he dead? Come back, narrator. Come back, narrator. Plants thoroughly. Oh, oh, we're just gonna skip again, I guess. What the fuck is this about? It's good audio. Very. Okay, we're we skipping again. Okay, well this is fucked. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review <laughs> and they all... Yo, imagine if I did a skip button redemption and you guys, I had to skip, like, whatever you guys, the redeem skip, I had to skip whatever the current, like, conversation is.
Like, I could do that. That could be a thing. I'd, like, I'd just forcibly have to skip. I'd have to just immediately stop talking about about the thing. Like, like, I'd, like an actual skip. I'm thinking, like, actual, like, literally skip the entire topic. Interesting. I mean, put, all right, put it on the note. Put it on the note. I'll tell you what, I, I'll consider it. The end is never the end, 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 is never the end. Oh, I think it's leaking through. I think, I think, I think this. I think, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got water coming in. Wait, that's maybe bad, though. Wait, can I just drown? Right. Yo, that guy got a bang. <laughs> get fucked, dude. Get fucked. That guy's gonna imagine dude. Imagine me, that guy, bro. Holy fuck. For six hours, the whole stream. Goodbye. Oh, yes. Still not out though, am I? Still not out. Okay. But now it will be overgrown, surely, surely at this point. I don't think I can get out of here. Still don't think I can get out, unless... Fuck, I'm gonna add some jumps left, dude. I used all my fucking jumps up. Oh, there we go. That's what I thought what it would have been like, yeah. A little bit more. What? No, go back to the lush forest. Oh no. Wait, did we like set up a nuke or something and like kill it all life? What happens? Don't smash it, okay? Don't smash it! I wonder how much we've skipped. Oh shit, dude. Don't smash it, okay? Don't smash it! Oh shit, oh shit. Yes, dude, yes! Global warming. Global warming, boys, I'm out. This room surviving though. That's what I don't understand. How's everything else destroyed, but this room is okay? Is this some sort of protected temporally or something? So this room isn't aging, but then it is aging. That's it, dude. That's it. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing. Wait, where's the new, where's the new content room again? Oh shit, no new content? Oh shit, no new content. Oh, get your poke chance ready, shit. Y'all didn't take a piss for giants. I'll be right back. We're about to go in the new, new content. Okay, so this is gonna be fucking crazy, dude. Holy fuck. Be right back, one sec.
much, much later. crotch right now okay wait so i was thinking what if i got the jumps and then i didn't use my jumps and then i jump over the box that i can't get over oh good you notice my sign yes i have something very exciting oh, to show you hey right, i need to get my jumps oh shit okay what new new content That's different. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. True. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable. Oh, um, just like Overwatch 2. No, it's just like Overwatch 2, dude. I don't trust this at all. Oh shit. Two? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from Damn, the ground up. This Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Testing two printers at the same time. Whoa. Okay, let's go. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? It's what better. does it even mean? I'd buy it. But I'd be Stanley more excited for that. Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. <laughs> Photos off painting K dot TGA. Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. Like paintings, we got computer screens up in this bitch, man. This is fucking badass. This is like PoE, dude. It's literally PoE two. <laughs> it's literally PoE two. It's literally Overwatch two. It's the same shit. It's what it's what you do if you want to get the most money. It's if you want to get the most money, you just call cool, put a two on the end. Okay. Everyone knows that sequels make. This is a literal fact. 
the sequels always make more money than the originals, okay? And that's because people hear good things about the originals and they don't want to miss out on the, on the second one. It's like, it's like the first one becomes a giant ad, effectively. New content is out, new content part two is in. Oh, boring sections of the chart. R the cool red section of the chart. Oh, shit, new hotness. Oh, plus busted. Oh, damn. More TSP to better TSP. Win-win. Sequel mindshare. All right. Paradigm shift energy. Brick and mortar approach. Envelope client to climb. Okay, damn. I mean, it's a meta game. Oh, shit. Look at this. Logo ideas, even. This, I bet you this is, like, genuinely some of their concept art. Like, from, from actually making... Whenever they were making it. But then maybe they didn't have enough juice to make to justifiably call it Stanley Parable 2, so that's where they released it Ultra Deluxe, but then they put the two in there, like it's a meta fucking shift. Oh shit. It's cool, it's cool. <laughs> Yo, dude, the Stanley Parable 2, nice. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Oh, shit. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Oh, I see a Nussle's arms, legs. Took the marker. Me. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit, bro. That's pretty cool logo design. Oh, shit. Valued investors. This way to the show floor. New features. Oh, shit. Look at this. Okay. Interesting, interesting. All right, where are we going? Are we, I'm an investor. I bought the game. Okay. Whoa, dude. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Can I jump? No. Hear your name in the game. Exclusive. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. No. It's not, well, there's no way. Get your name in the game, there's no way it's gonna get this. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized True. and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person too big, playing too the small. game. Just right. Isn't that wonderful? I'm excited. It doesn't know, they're not gonna get it. They're not gonna get it. Unless it's hacked into my user database and it's, and it's like, knows what my name is. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. <laughs> but of course, in the final game, this button will say your- Wait, what if your name's actually Jim? Someone in chat's called Jim right now, dude. Your name, whatever name that is. Here. Let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Okay. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim. Okay. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, I'm Jim. then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes! You see! What a thrill! What a rush! That was you! The button described you! Do it again! Do it again! Okay. Well, I'm Jim. I'm Jim. I'm Jim. Yo, what's going on, boys? Jim69. How you guys doing today? Yo, Jim. Yeah, Jimmy. Call me Jim. Jim. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a big dick. Yes, they say you've got a big dick. Yeah, uh, my name's Jim. Yeah, of course I do. I've got a massive, big, J-dick. Jim. Ooh. 
It hits oh, yeah. even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too don't emotionally drained okay, from all it. of this personal validation. Gym. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Gym. Otherwise, soon gym. you'll start to lose gym. all gym. sense of who gym. you actually gym. are. Jim. Jim. Fuck! Why did I say the gym? I wanted to use the gym button. What the fuck, man? Got me all hyped up for the gym, man. You take it away? What the fuck? I, what the hell? I was supposed to be. I supposed to have new features, man. Stanley Parable 2, man. What the fuck? Okay. Unless. I can't get. To, I can't get to the bug. Okay, we got more. We got more features. We got. Wait. Always check the doors. Sometimes the doors activate after you leave. Okay. Damn, they've really got like RTX and shit in this game now, eh? It's like looking, it's looking, look at these, look, I mean, look at that. To be fair, she doesn't look accurate to real life, but it's still pretty nice. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. <laughs> Please, no screenshots. A whole new office. Red is the new orange. The new ray traced, more of the same, but yeah, dude, I'm telling you, ray tracing unironically makes games just way better. You ray trace, you put ray tracing in any game, and it makes it like way better. Collectibles, free, easy, new achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. Get it here. Pull the lever, receiving your achievement. No more steps. It just works. Get yours right now. Now here's something what? special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Achievement Andy. This is Abby. She's... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. <laughs> Imagine being an achievement, Andy, bro. Holy fuck. Imagine. Like that, like third, I'm telling you, we hear you. Wait, what What do you mean you hear me? Oh, well, Abby is. Well, Abby is Achievement Andy. I mean, that's... Yeah, she's an Achievement Andy. Wait, how do you take a screenshot? What's the Steam keybind for a screenshot? What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? I so much fucking jumps up, didn't I? Collectibles. Wait, what was this no screenshot area? Alt F4? No, what's the key? What's the key behind it? F2. Okay, you didn't program in a thing that realizes that I'm taking screenshots to then have narration based on the fact that I'm taking screenshots in an area that says take no screenshots? Are you fucking kidding me? That's a missed. That is a missed opportunity. Okay. That is a missed opportunity right there. Are you fucking kidding me? Collectibles, alright. Can you find them? Collect them all. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. <laughs> I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh, shit. There it is! One out of six! All right, let's fucking go, dude! A 
It's, am I ever gonna be able to get the rest? Wait. Oh, fuck. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. The jump circle. Infinite hole. Oh, that sounds fun. I mean, the infinite holes go to the. Uh, it won't end. Please, no screenshots. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Happy 12th birthday, Stepneys. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually <laughs> really it. wanted all Don't along. Smash it. Happy 12th birthday, Stepneys, it is. This is great. Merch. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. I saw new content. Oh, shit. Yo, I want to get that one. Stanley Parable too. Okay, cool, cool. Button that says Jim. Uh, we didn't see the infinite hole. Where was the infinite hole? No screenshots. They're right, that was a Stanley Parable reassurance bucket. Check the QR code. Oh shit! Check the QR code. I mean, okay, wait. Let me do it right now. Wait, I can just do it with my camera, right? Wait, can you just tell with your camera or some shit? Can you just open up your camera and then be like... Auto-framing on. Auto-framing off. I'm sure there's like a fucking... More. Pro. Pro video. Super slow motion. Hyperlapse. Air zone. I'm sure there's like a thing that's supposed to detect... Scan documents. A oh, web address, stanleyparable2.com. Show options. Open in browser. Uh. Oh shit, I'm going, I'm going. Welcome. To, oh wow! Oh wow! So it's just Stanley Parable Two dot com. Wow! Welcome to the official website of the Stanley Parable Two, a sequel, huh? Uh, watch our half informative video. Learn about the Stanley Parable and what our journey is becoming a sequel is all about. See there, Timmy. What's that you're enjoying? Why? It's breakfast, of course. Everyone loves breakfast. <laughs> but did you know that breakfast is getting a sequel? That's right. It's called Lunch. And critics are raving that no lunch shot. will be everything breakfast was and more. With a little luck, we may even get a trilogy series out of it. Say, you know what a sequel is, don't you, Timmy? Why? Sequels are the world's way of clinging helplessly to the past. We all want more of the things we love, and we're all afraid of change, which is what makes sequels so popular. New ideas are dangerous to me, it's true. and they can lead to early aging. This eager-minded no young ideas. thinker is just 29 years old. That's why we have sequels, to keep us couched in the familiar and the comfortable. Sequels are the bedrock of a healthy, functional society. It's like, it's like the Terraria video I watched today. Like, uh, I watched a clip and it made me like think, man, I love Terraria. I just want to play Terraria again. Wouldn't it be nice? It's nostalgia, bro. If it's you bad. look around you, you'll find them everywhere you go. 
For instance, this man is developing a sequel to the automobile, which we'll call the vertical automobile. Oh, shit, okay. It's a useless, impractical invention. And in two days' time, the man will be publicly stoned to death for his crimes against gravity. Not all sequels are heretical nonsense, however. Here's the man who invented breathing, which is the sequel to suffocating and dying a slow death. Even your parents are getting a sequel, Timmy. Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be taking care of you once your original parents are sent back in time to fight a secret war for the government. Sequels can be very fashionable. This young woman is wearing five shirts at once, which is the sequel to wearing four shirts at once. Look at Becky over there, wearing only two shirts at once. Get with the times, Becky. In fact, there is only one single thing in the world that isn't a sequel. It's this. What is we it? don't know what it is or why it exists, but it's the prequel from Holy which all shit, sequels are derived. And just like everything else, the Stanley Parable is getting a sequel too. We all know, of course, that it was your favorite game as a child. Don't you remember those long, lazy afternoons you spent playing the Stanley Parable? Watching your precious youth fritter away hour after hour. We've all wasted our childhoods in one way or another, and you were fortunate enough to get to waste yours on the Stanley Parable. But the Stanley Parable came out years ago, and you're not a child anymore. You're a man, which is like the sequel to a child. True. And as a man, you want manly things, like yep. taxes and cheating at baseball. Wait, what if you're not a man? Isn't this sexist, guys? This is a, What a sexist game. Can we just talk for a minute? Should we fucking cancel the fucking Stanley Parable too? Are you fucking kidding me? This is just assuming my fucking gender in 2020 fucking too? Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking. need a man's video game, Timmy. And that's why the Stanley Parable 2 will be perfect for you. It's as manly as video games can get. Oh, and if you don't believe me, let's look at the burly hunk of a man who's responsible for the game. Huh, here he is, hard at work. His name is Gregory Eightpack, and he's the cutting picture of raw, virile masculinity. Oh, shit. Gregory is what we call the ideas guy, and he has the most important role on the okay. team. The ideas guy tirelessly comes up with interesting concepts and then hands them off to the rest of the developers for the relatively simple job of turning those concepts into reality. He, he just for example, him, he just he's the him. one who picked up the phone and declared, someone ought to make a sequel to the Stanley Parable. Good work, Gregory. Go ahead and take the rest of the day off. With the hard part out of the way, work on the game can now begin. The game's developers must answer a simple question. What makes a sequel in the first place? Well, it's simple. Sequels are an opportunity to correct the mistakes don't of their predecessors. Hey, don't we've all made mistakes, and we've all caused harm to someone we love in order to cover up our mistakes. True. When developing this particular sequel, Wait, it's important to start by thinking, what mistakes did the original Stanley Parable make? Well, first off, most of the pornography in the original game was stolen or pirated, and it's time we paid the licensing fees fair and square. Second, the Stanley Parable was catastrophic for this man oh, named Lee. Dude, the pornography in the first game was so fucking good. Can we just be real? Roy, whose personal information, including home address, social security number, and bank information, were Holy all shit. displayed prominently in that. multiple locations throughout the game. Although Leroy's money and identity were stolen, the fact remains that his personal information was the emotional core of the game and absolutely vital to a nuanced understanding of the story. As reparation for the harm we caused him, the sequel will contain a brief and insincere apology to Leroy tucked deep within the game where it will be difficult to find. Finally, the Stanley Parable made the mistake of leaking too many government secrets about the nature of the Time Wars. Without these intricate details of specific military tactics, the story is likely to make very little sense. But we've decided to remove them from the sequel in the interest of helping the state's efforts. We'll get to you yet, Time Dracula. The fuck is the time? Now then, it's time to set about constructing the Stanley Parable 2. Game development is a difficult and complex art, one which can only be fully understood by this race of hyper-intelligent child soldiers bred in laboratories. They begin by studying the original Stanley Parable. Here it is in its raw, untouched form, a specimen of technological perfection. Time to exploit it for profit. 
we begin by adding jokes. The Stanley Parable was most widely known for its stark lack of humor, bucking all conventional industry wisdom. It was a bold artist statement that its developers stood firmly behind. But in 2022, it's impossible to reach even a single consumer of video games without jokes of some kind. So very well, jokes it'll be. During its development, over 500 kiloliters of comedy will be funneled directly into the core of the Stanley Parable 2, creating jobs for hundreds of machine operators and producing 30,000 tons of pollutant chemical byproduct, Fuck which yeah. will be pumped directly into local lakes, rivers, yeah. and beautiful nature reserves like these okay. all over the country. Another common complaint of the Stanley Parable is that there wasn't enough gameplay. And so for the sequel, its developers have gone to great lengths to fix this problem. Here we can see gameplay being printed on the sheets. <laughs> Every video game contains as many as a thousand sheets of gameplay. What and the several fuck? of the largest games ever made contain close to 1,500. On mobile devices, the gameplay sheets have to be printed smaller. <laughs> for the Stanley Parable 2, as many as 35 new gameplay sheets are being printed, each of which must be delicately massaged by the hands of a child before being added into the game. This man is stealing gameplay sheets from the factory, <laughs> which he likely intends to use for a personal project he's been developing in his spare time. A good public child stoning labor. will cure him of that inclination. Let's check on Gregory real quick. Ha! Still recovering from a hard day's work. Don't you move a muscle. Next up, it's time to blackmail the press. In a competitive market, blackmailing your local journalist can be one of the most effective methods of creating word-of-mouth buzz for your sequel. In fact, blackmail is the currency of social progress. From your neighborhood grocer to the teacher at your school to the man who helps you steal HBO, everyone responds to blackmail. And if you've never done it before, it's easy to practice at home on your friends and family. Simply follow the instructional pamphlet that your teacher hands out after the end of the film. And finally, there's one last tool at our disposal for making the sequel feel fresh and exciting, and that's packaging the game with collector's edition merchandise. If you order don't the Stanley it. Parable okay, 2, you'll receive this cow's egg. A single egg will produce over a thousand cows, which are, of course, the sequel to pigs. And there you have it. Everything there is to know about producing the Stanley Parable 2. Of course, Fuck? you may know that there is also a game titled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So which game is the true sequel to The Stanley Parable? It's an excellent question, Billy. One which the child soldiers have been working round the clock to come up with an answer to. And after many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is... Who gives a shit? <laughs> All that matters is that it's more content for you to cram down your insatiable yes! gullet. You don't want thoughtful and nuanced answers Give me to the complex content. questions, Billy. You just want to eat bubble gum and cheat at hopscotch. Fuck yes. So get out there and consume. I'm Do such a your content civic slut. duty and bully Do your parents into slut. buying you every version the of the Stanley Parable 2 yeah. on every platform. Tell your friends to bully their parents as well. It's through community efforts Fucking like these that whore. the world comes together in harmony and connection. And it's okay. only through this connection that we'll defeat Time Dracula once and for all. Don't let the time-traveling vampires win. Buy the Stanley Parable 2 and pledge to support all sequels for today, tomorrow, and into the great unknowable beyond. Well, there you go. There you go. That was very puggies. That's new. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, thanks so much. How many people have seen this? What, how many people have found this video? Only 8,000 people, chat. We are literally only 8,000 people have done their QR code and found this fucking video. That is fucking niche, dude. That is fucking niche. Holy fuck. Okay, well, there you go. That's what you get what the QR code does. All right. Cool merch. Um, okay, we're going to the uh, Stanley Parable Briosaurus bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, 
I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Oh, shit. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. How do I... Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would I be? I can't click. Yes, I can't pick it up. The bucket is the perfect solution. Come on. Give it a try. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Okay. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. It's kind of true. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Pretty sweet, right, guys? It's pretty. I get a, I get, I get a bucket. I mean, I'm, I mean, I mean, you, you gotta stand chat. Normally, you can't have objects in this game, so having a bucket's actually pretty cool. All right, let's go. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. It's a companion bucket. Yeah, exactly. Okay, the jump circle on the infinite hole. We never actually got to the infinite hole. You are here. Wait. That's the exit. The jump circle. Wait, the jump circle. That's the merged area. Oh, the jump circle's over. Jump circle's here then? Jump circle. Oh, there it is! You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. <laughs> Give me more jumps, bitch! What the fuck? But I actually used all my... Wait, do you think I actually used all the jumps up for my entire playthrough? Like... Holy shit. Um, okay, so we've, okay, free achievement, this is the map, merch, settings for world champion. Settings for world champion. Okay. Epilogue. Office decorations. Wait, I don't see where, oh, this is the infinite hole down here? Okay. Well, that's the, that's, oh, I see. That's the thing I went into with the balloons. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there, there it is. Okay. Time, depth, time, okay, infinity, distant future, hole like infinity, falling. Okay. Rim, surrounding area, depth, infinite. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. I mean, there's no way it's actually going to be infinite, right? You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. G to return to service. I'm good, bro. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Look how small it looks. 
It's not infinite, bro. There's an end. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. <laughs> is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. Wouldn't I get to like, the core of the I don't want anyone to earth? say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole oh, shit. mostly? It's infinite. a new mug. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. It's a new mug, dude. Holy shit. That's fucking bad chest. I've never seen a mug like that one before. That's actually like, you know, normally you look at the mugs and it's just like Mondays or something or like I heart coffee. You know there's a secret infinite hole ending, right? You know there's a secret infinite hole ending. There's gotta be another one. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. I do normal like holes. Would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever to the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Wait, it's getting shorter. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing. Of... Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets yeah, any shorter. I, I do want to find out. I'll be honest, I do want to see what happens. Oh, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am <laughs> I'm I to judge? I am stuck in here. You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. 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 Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Building these castles in the sky. Just the two of us. You and I. Okay. No. Um, is the um I'm pressing teleport G button not working? You sure? Gee! Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing? Well, I suppose... I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. 
You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything right, else. This is toxic. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Secret hole ending! This is fucking Pug! Oh shit. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? I teleport out. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. Slowly, very slowly going down. Oh shit, okay. Okay. Fuck yes, dude! Dude, the secret hole landing is lit! Are we gonna go into Elden Hole? So we got it. You have to change your perspective. Whoa! Holy fuck! No fucking shot, bro! This can't be more perspective, surely. Top down, even? to change your perception. No, wait, wait, my perception. Okay, I don't like this perception. I used to change your reality. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, bro. Okay. <laughs> to the dinosaurs, even. <laughs> Jay to change myself. <laughs> what the? Dozed off there. Let me go back to the, into the whole ending. You can't have that, Stanley, because this hole ah. is just so darn fascinating <laughs> that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Let me go Stay back. Stanley. Let me go back to I'll sleep. Be back. Come on. How do I go to sleep again? Yeah, back to sleep, back to sleep. There we go. Come on, back to sleep. There we go. I can't jump. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well, we got the secret hole ending, though. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. <laughs> okay, jump circle, mostly infinite hole. It's been updated to a mostly infinite hole now. Button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Um. Office decorations. What was this one? The reassurance bucket. Oh, I mean, we're fucking seeing the dolly. Okay, what the fuck? 
free easy achievement. Okay, I think we've done everything. We confirm we've done everything. Most anybody wait, epilogue. Epilogue. Wait, epilogue is there? Wait, you are here. That's the jump circle. Wait, so we use the jump circle to figure this out. Jump circle is where? In, I think. In? Jump circle's in. So epilogue is through this door to the right. Wait, can I just press a button? No. The epilogue's right there! That's the epilogue! How the fuck do I get there? Maybe from the reassurance bucket area? The store. Rick. Can I even put it back? I can't even put the bucket there. I can't even put it where I wanted to. Mm. Two. This is my second cup. Wow, dude, that's crazy. Okay, no. I can't get to the epilogue. I can't get there. We went up the stairs. You can't you can't get there, bro. Back to the hole. <laughs> Most back to the mostly infinite hole. Okay, we'll go back to the most infinite hole real quick. We'll go back to the most infinite hole. We'll see what's going on in the most infinite hole. Try to walk through this. We'll just try to walk through some of this shit. Is it gonna even let me back in? No, dude. I can't even get back to the most infinite all. It's not even, um. Uh... Mm, I'm gonna go to the exit now, I guess. Wait, there was an exit, right? Exit. Oh, wow, well, there's stairs right at the exit! Okay. Well, let me confirm, though. I've done everything. Jump circle, map, free achievement, button that says, the name, merch, world settings. Settings, world champion. Let's throw this into the left. Let's be right here. Zero, three, four, four. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, just in case. Which one's the stairs that left the jump circle? Oh, wow! There are stairs that left the jump circle! Wait, dude! Puma that guy! Puma that guy! Puma that guy! Wait, is it taking me back to the most infinite hole? No, no shot. Sitting is world champion. Oh, fuck. Okay. What is this? Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Really, dude? 
This is the epilogue, dude. Okay, dude, I guess that's gonna be part of the- I'm just gonna have the epilogue at the end of the game. Okay, let's leave. We've officially done everything. We can't go back in the hole. We've beaten all of the maps at zones. I've got one out of six of the collectibles. I'm exiting. I'm fucking exiting right now. It's happening right now, I'm leaving. Use print screen on the keyboard. I did use all print right. screen on the have keyboard. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? I did use print screen on the keyboard chat. I, did, I pressed print screen and I used the Steam keybind for screenshots and it didn't, nothing happened. Look. Please, no screenshots. Print screen. F12. No, it doesn't. Nothing. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Whoa! Dude. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. I got my chance back. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Ah... <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really <laughs> tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable this is literally Overwatch. Do they, do they time this to release for Overwatch 2? something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh, shit. Stanley Parable 2. All oh, the fucking chills, bro. Let's go, dude. This is the story of a man named I'm not Stanley. Skip, I'm not skipping. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Not employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul renting, Stanley relished every moment it's, of the This is exactly the same, I think it might be exactly the same. Though he had been made exactly for this job. Okay. And Stanley was happy. Oh, and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Oh, something that would forever oh, change it's Stanley. Too. Let's something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, Seamless. or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Dude, look at these new looms. All of his co-workers were gone, 
What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay. <gasps> the reassurance bucket! Stanley picked up the bucket. Yes! That balloon's on a share. The new content door is gone, I think. Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Okay. Okay. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, I didn't bitch. Don't, do not tell me what to do. I will do whatever the fuck. No, I do. said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Exactly. The cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Wait, don't I just die at the cargo lift? Good. Said the no, I made full off. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this what? bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Bitch. That's right. That's right, I don't, you don't know where I'm going. You don't know where the fuck I'm going, Bucket. You cannot control me. No, stop. Look there on the wall, you see? There's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot Buckets about your are behavior a social construct. at this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Like, uh, buckets aren't even real. Oh, shit. Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. When is a bucket okay, a bucket, again. chat? Like, if I, if I, oh fuck, I okay, oh well, fuck, said is bucket. Is this a bucket? Don't smash it. Okay, don't smash it. It is a hologram of a bucket, <laughs> not an actual bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Item two. Is this a bucket? Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. Item three, is this a bucket? Incorrect. No! This is a bucket. Okay, so three to buckets. First to another bucket. Item four, is this a bucket? What? Are you hallucinating? <laughs> this is a tractor. Yeah. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. 
Let's just move on to the next one. Is this a bucket? Okay, wait, if we just keep saying yes, it is a bucket when it's not a bucket. What's gonna happen? Yep. Correct. This what? is a bucket. Okay. All right. Item six. Is this a bucket? No. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. What does that even mean? Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Schrodinger's bucket. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait. When I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless... Is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? Well... Technically... No, nothing's a bucket. A bucket doesn't exist, chat. It's, it's a social construct that we just simply made up. So, no. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I... A bucket. Wait, what point is a bucket a bucket? Like Stanley, you, I can't keep doing this. If you get a bucket... I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had. If you get a bucket, and you remove just one particle at a time, and you just keep removing... Okay, at what point does a bucket stop being a bucket? Like, is this... Like, what size? What size buckets? Do, you know, do, do, you know, if we have, uh, you know... A bucket the size of a sun is that a bucket if we if we like can it what what about a square bucket a round bucket what who is defining what is a bucket the point is a bucket's not real chat we just make up in our heads what a bucket actually is and we say yeah whatever that's a fucking that's what i mean by buckets of social contracts which is why buckets don't actually exist okay to begin with I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay. Here we go. What? What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait. Was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my God. I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. <laughs> yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what. I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Oh, shit, what's going to happen when we get back in, dude? Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Don't smash it. Stanley okay, decided to go it. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Am I picking the bucket up again? That was, I mean... Is it, is it gonna just take me to the bucket ending again? Well, ever I'm being a bucket. The bucket. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Why is she gonna go left this time? 
I wonder if there's a combo ending of this. Bro. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Hear me out, chat. A secret bucket broom closet ending. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it. You can't have the bucket. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. <laughs> Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults <laughs> simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? True. That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort this of kinship towards based. any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I'd never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Little Expand on the wide bitch. variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal Fuck entries you. detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Little, little ranch ass broom closet, little pussy ass rope. We only got one roll of duct tape. Okay, I've got you something which I think oh, will help settle rolls. this debate Fuck. once and for all. Here we go. There. Now it's settled. No more debate, no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical <laughs> diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Holy fuck. Okay. I mean, now the question is, do I stay here for 20 minutes? For all right. I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? <laughs> I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Mm. That kind of makes me want to get, like, a picture of a thing and, you know and what? put that I thing on that thing. I the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. That's a bait. That's a bait. I don't think so. Uh, that's a bait. We don't. We no. We stay inside. Although, wait. What if it's a twenty-minute secret bucket ending? Fuck. Never surrender. What if it's a twenty? <laughs> Just thirty minutes. What if it's crazy, dude? What if it unlocks? Because, I mean, they've got licensed pornography for the Stanley Parable, too. You know? What if this is a secret bucket cum scene, dude? What if it turns into a cum bucket? You don't know what's going to happen. FOMO 69. Oh, what the fuck? Display random balloons. Mmm, a secret sex scene. Watch the video waiting. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay, we're going down. We're going down. 
But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, No, I got a bucket. Maybe I'm not I crazy. crazy. I got a bucket. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? No. Nope. asked the bucket. Nope. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. <laughs> That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, what? this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. No. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. My Who bucket? knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. I see it. Truly be. He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special Wait, where's bucket. where's the one with the stickers? Come to me, Stanley. Find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. Oh, on my head? The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Wait, the bucket murdered me? What just happened? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion it's and true. it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself. Bro, wouldn't it be nice to have one of these buckets? Ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. What the fuck, bro? I want one of these buckets. Okay, we're grabbing the bucket again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay, I'm following the narrator. Stanley narrative. decided to go to now. the meeting room. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. I'm listening. I'm following him the full way. We're going the full, we're going full bucket build. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Full meta cut bucket build. Mike, I kept the stickers though, so I, there is progression now. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money, crisp. <gasps> Collectible! One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure oh, yes, of a job totally well done. Oh, yes, totally a reward, you bro. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, 
I implore you to savour each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Any updates to this room? Not that I can see, except that the text has changed. What the fuck? <laughs> this isn't a strategy. Okay, just shooting pandas. Wait, I don't know if I want to go there. Oh well. Broken? I heard something. So it doesn't work. It's complete bug. It doesn't work. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding... 2845 pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would, and he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Yep. I'm skipping. Well, I'm just typing in the fucking thing, bitch. I'm not skipping. Fuck you, bitch. Another collectible! Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Or um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. I'll take it, Stanlerine. Okay. Wait, is the bucket gonna automatically solve the problem for me? I wonder because it's like, right? It's the it's a reassurance bucket, or is it just gonna reassure me as I die? The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. It wasn't supposed to work. I was Wait, to... Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. Three. Okay. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Wow, he said. 
The number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. Wait, try zero three three four. Wait. What about three 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 four? How about that? Hmm. No. See three is sequel of four. Wait, four 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 we count to three 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 three, right? You're right. Sequel. No. Six number. Oh. I mean, Three eight two five. Three eight two five. Fuck. Fuck. It's laggy, bro. Three zero three four four. Okay. Uh, the secret three ending. I don't know if it's a thing. I don't know if it's a thing. I'm gonna be honest. I fucking pressed three a lot. I pressed three up a bunch just now. I tried three, three, three. Try zero, zero, one, zero, zero, two. Okay, I'll try zero, zero, three. I'll try zero, zero, three. You know what? Because that's like literally the number three, right? Zero. I can try three out. No, 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 no. I'm not low IQ. Fuck you. Is he gonna tell me? Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. A hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Should he demonstrate the number three for the bucket again? You motherfucking fucking bitch no, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. Is this game just turning me to... Am, am I getting mind controlled by the game right now to spam three into a keyboard? Is that what's happening right now? If I lost my free will? Here we go, said Stanley. This time, I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind, anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing.
The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all, only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. No, I didn't. No, I don't! You can't tell me what to do! I want you to give up! I won't give up! And the code is 333. Three, three. I'm dude, I'm trying. Yeah, wait, you think I have to do 333 three, three, 3,333 times? Uh, that'll take quite a while, I think. It's based on the speed right now. No, I give up. I give up. Yeah, I, I give up. I give up. What if that'll do one more time? Just one more. Okay, it's one more. One more, one more. What about... What if I've just got it right to the end and it's about to hap... I don't know, dude. You know you know that picture of the guy? He's like digging, bro. He's digging it. And he's right about to get to the treasure. But then he gives up. That's me right now. I'm the number three. And I can't. I've got a sunk cost fallacy that we can't. We can't. We just get it. We just get it. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. It's a Stanley and the bucket were so close. It always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? I mean, I've tried. I've tried a bunch of stuff. I mean, okay, we'll go back. We're gonna go back one last time. I'm going back one last time. Okay. <laughs> said Stanley. I know what to do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference where he would speak to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. He would elaborate fully on what the number three meant to him and why he felt so alive when pressing it. Then the bucket would be able to see his joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react to this discovery of Stanley's. And it would be through the Don't public eye okay. that Don't the bucket it. would finally understand Whoa. Stanley's work. For months, he advertised and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it, until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. Okay, I'm fucking ready, dude. Let's fucking go. The stage room door. All evening uh, with World Peace, baby. Okay. Stanley Tonight, live on stage. Stanley Tonight, the man, the process, the myth, the legend, the parable. Stanley, from the Stanley Parable. The world's first Indian machine. Okay, all right. Two stage, three, 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 three. Wait, 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 wait. Four, two, this seven. This was it. One last oh, chance to win the bucket two, over. Seven, one opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. Gracious you Sandy, remember where you came from, your co-workers. Story, the storyteller. Stanley reveals all in his new book. Three again, three again, the Stanley story. Do I count the amount of threes here? I don't know. Maybe you. Maybe that's the whatever of all these threes add up to something. What if you go three plus 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 three, right? And you keep plus them all, and then you get a final number, and then that's the number you need to type into the fucking keypad, right? You know what I'm saying? There was no one here. Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley speak. 
to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. He was unloved, uninteresting, he was a failure, and in that moment Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be no more games, no more long conversations about passion and pursuit, only a silence that consumed the space between friends. And Stanley, having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. What the fuck? Am I just depressed now or uh that's it? Okay. Um it's like I'm trying I'm just going, I have to do my heater on, it's fucking freezing in my room right now. Holy shit. Actually like the coldest has been in the longest time. Hey Google! What's the temperature right now? The current temperature in Wanganui is six degrees. Jesus Christ. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Okay, Perhaps what the he had fuck? Mr. Memo. Warmth Get the bucket. through Stanley's arms. Spear up as a guy. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Stanley clutched the bucket left. tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. What the fuck? The completion is insect. Why wouldn't they tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless, TBH. Ideas, what do they want? Our data stock options money. Why do we write 427? Hello, clues provided by employee 416. Thank you, good luck. It's a clue. Oh, in a toilet room, in a toilet room. Don't leave the office before reporting back in your findings. There will be a reward for finding them all. Oh shit! Wait, 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 A large room, lots of boxes, stairs, something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. Okay, let's go paint. Let's open up paint, let's control V that shit. Okay. A large room, lots of boxes, something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. Wait, isn't there a red and blue area? Wait, isn't there a red and blue area? Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I think I know where that is. Okay, I'm gonna type 333 into the keypad. Just for science. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication. The bucket did not react. Except, except perhaps a tiny glow of warmth. Subtle, yes, but an unmistakable spark. Don't smash from it. Somewhere Don't smash it. Within. Oh, shit. Okay, this one scares it one time. Okay, oh, fuck, where's my other one? Two, eight, four, five. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. I'm not this is certainly again. the most logical explanation. Okay. We're going down, and we're going to the main 
the main area with the bucket to see if the bucket like beats the game for me. Okay, that's what we're going right now, chat. Okay, it's gonna be fucking lit. Your bad chest ready. It's gonna be fucking crazy. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Well, actually, I could just let's just go the escape. Let's just go the escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent <laughs> death. <laughs> the door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. <laughs> at this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly <laughs> walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the Bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the Bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the Bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a Bucket everywhere. <laughs> Farewell, Stanley. The Bucket's gonna protect me! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the Bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the Bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. Or was I? It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. The bucket. Welcome. Welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You were standing at the, the precipice of knowledge, much like a bucket itself. Don't the smash human it. mind hey, is don't frequently smash empty within. A cavernous void. But though, uh, through the use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and rich and substantiated, 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 substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the, uh, is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? I can't highlight the text, so it's really hard for me to read chat because I'm fucking dyslexic, okay? Shut the fuck up. Fuck up, bitch. Will you accept with an open... Uh, will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourselves and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or... Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? Oh, shit. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? A bucket with two handles. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to this just for attempting it. Wait, everyone has a bucket with two handles. That's so you can squeegee the mop. I've got one with two handles. I go for 25 buckets. The greatest number of buckets to ever be captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of euphoria from exposure to this many, this many buckets at once. Oh my god, holy shit. 
What is this? The Inferno Bucket. A replica of the Inferno Bucket in which the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another to control it. Billion, billions died. And yet, in spite of all of it, uh, the simple fact remains. No one can control a bucket. Oh, shit, dude. A stress bucket analogy. Oh, wow. Whoa, wow. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Cave drawing of buckets. Okay. Don't smash it. No yeah, man don't can smash own it. a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Jesus Christ! This is a flashbang. Okay, wait. The hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However, clear our grasp. Wait, however, clear our grasp of the bucket may be. There is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitability, is for our own good. Oh shit! But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Of the okay. The, All this co-workers were gone. Okay, I'm going Look, straight me. vanilla Stanley main storyline with the bucket right the now. Bucket and smiled. Let's go, bitch. Never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Wait, didn't they say one of wait, which which worker was it? Wait, which worker was it? Large room, lots of buckets. Wait a minute, the blue and red room. Do I go to the blue and red Stanley room? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. And door 416. Yeah, door 416. What the fuck? My screen just went black. Entered the door on his left. Wait, the blue and red room. Go back. It's closed. I can't go back. Well, I'll go to the blue and red this room. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley... Wait. Seriously, literally... Wait, didn't there? Wasn't there a room? Wait, didn't there? Still, didn't Had they say something the about calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be? And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be! Nope, this is not the red and blue area. The red and blue area no, is this way. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Fuck! I'm sure. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. This way? There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose Don't not to think it. about Don't this as fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Yep. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Oh yeah, that's exactly where I want to go. This is where the collectible is going to be. Watch this. It's going to be blue and red. Watch this. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. 
This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press H to take me to work with you. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Press X to take me back home with you. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Press J to go back to work. Well, don't smash anyway. it. Okay. Don't Stanley, smash it. Can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything I mean, you else. Do you use buckets to carry things that aren't liquids? Are you kidding me? You, I mean, you can do tons of things with a bucket. You can put a bucket on your head. You can make a bucket into a drum. You can come into a bucket. Like, I can think of hundreds of things to do with a bucket. <sighs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is this awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Press M to ignore anyone ex except... Wait, press M to ignore anyone in your life except for me. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine. I was thinking that as well. It. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Chris, you have to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Press U to relive the same day with me, over and over. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Press A to go home. Wait, Press A to go home to work, to home, to work, to home. I'm... I'm having feelings. For the bucket. No, oh, no, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps, if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. It's my yes. bucket! The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me it's the my bucket. bucket! Give it to me! Give me the bucket, Stanley! I need it! Give it to me now! Give it- Close your eyes! I closed my eyes and went blank. The fuck? Go back to work, Stanley. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the. Does it seriously what Stanley Parable 2 is? Bucket. Just it's Stanley, Stanley Parable 1, except. Off on another you just have a bucket and every together. single storyline has been changed and augmented. To include the bucket? That actually was like, are you kidding me? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. Shit! I went past the room. I was supposed to go and do. If for once, right? And which room did it say? Wait, something to do with a four and what? Wait, it's it something to do with what room? If 
full three one. Mm. Okay. All right, I'm fully listening Coming to the to guy. Staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs We're going to the straight boss's office. End game, baby. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned. Two, two, eight, four, five. Can you get remember shit like that? Not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the wind, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket you? Can you guys remember life? that? Like, was fuck the no. bucket yeah, guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. How do you remember the pen? I remember three, 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 three. I don't remember. I don't remember the fucking. You know, I don't remember shit like that. Though, like the whatever the fuck that was. Shit is crazy. Can't remember four numbers like that. You guys have insane memories. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. There we go. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Uh, sure. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, uh... Okay, Abby... I mean, just... Okay, wait. Okay. We continue? Wait, Was what? the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this okay, very wait. place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Let's go! Okay, so one, two... Was three. It was three. One, two. It's three backwards over here. Wait, you got to do it. You got to do the numbers correctly, right? That's 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 it. One, two, three, four, and then five is where. Okay, whatever, dude. I got it. I got it. I took five here. Where's five? Two, three, four. Am I blind? Oh, five's there. Okay, five's there. Okay, so we got it all. We got it all. Five's there. All right, take notes. Take notes. Take notes. Here we go. 
here we go. I got this. System power. When at last they came to the source of the room's Don't power. Don't smash it, okay? Stanley Don't smash it! Stanley and the Bucket it. knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Off. Don't smash it! Don't smash it! Unless it just works? Stanley and the Bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes! They had done it! Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest what? enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and... Oh! What? Well, wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room lingering in uncertainty until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face this building did not want the bucket to leave even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket <laughs> needed no! the soothing warmth of the bucket would go to any lengths not to part with the bucket no 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 Stanley can't leave this place not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Frick! Okay, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go back. No, we got to go back. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's Wait. office? Where are we going today? The bucket. Wait, asked. Stanley. Just what? What number was it, Chad? Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Someone's door. I'm missing. Right. One six. One five. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and tried. entered the door on his left. I've tried. I've tried. Four eleven. I tried everything. I fuck. I'm missing. That's the key. The key to winning is all three of these, right? That is the key. I haven't gone to the door to the right, down the thing to the left, have I? Coming With the to bucket. A staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. No, I haven't. I have. I haven't. I have not. This way. I'm not bad at every game. I'm fucking beating this fucking game. Two. Wait. Stepping into his two, eight, four, five. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by, but Stanley guessed the correct code by. Yo! What? Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? I guessed. Yes. This is certainly the most logical. That's the issue of my brain. It remembers everything. It just doesn't remember anything. Like, I was just like, I was just like, I'll just type in what I... Do you know what's fucked up? That's how I beat the Maven Memory game. Whenever I beat the Maven Memory game, I don't think about it. I just do it, and I get it. It's super weird. But the second I actually think about it, I don't get it. What, like, what the fuck is that about? Stanley the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind the Control fuck is that about? Facility. Wait, 2845. No, it was 2845. No, it doesn't. No, it is 2845. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. I'm a couple getting room for numbers. But no, no, even in the main memory game, I had the same thing where, like, basically, I can't remember. The monitors jumped to life. If I try to think about the, the thing, I get it wrong. Everyone but in when the I just, like, don't think and just do like guinea pigs. I get it. 
the bucket had never seen like, anything like if I like think this, about it, I become retarded, but if I don't think about it, I'm like actually five hit. Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Okay, go. go. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things of does a bucket want to do, How do, you do it, or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Can no! He screamed mind? into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His any one coffee, friend in coffee. the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. I remember where it is. It's but one, two. Was the proof. It's one, the two. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or it's content. Four, right? Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of it's his past one, two, began three, to sink in, four, Stanley five. decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, Wait, up against the three world. Bunch of times? I mean, we could they try high three. fived in a really cool way. We could try the bucket three. made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Where is he? Shut the fuck up, you little fucking bitch. Get the fuck out of you, little fucker. Little fuck. Little fuck base. Little fucking bitch. Little fucking. You think you, you, think you are? Okay, get your pug chairs ready. We're about to do the nuke command. It's about to go down. Get your pug chairs ready. I'll be right back. I'm getting coffee. Um, We're about to destroy this game. The, the secret ultra bucket nuclear ending beating the game. Credits and everything. It's gonna be nuts. Okay, get your poke jams ready.
I'm back. One second, I didn't say an idea. I didn't say an idea. I have to write it down on my ideas. Um. Okay, put that in there. Good shit. All right, let's go. What do we play the game? What do you think? What do we play the game? What do you think I'm playing right now, bitch? What do you think I'm playing game? What do you, what do you call this, dude? About to destroy this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I know what it is. Let's go. Take notes. Take notes. Take notes. Don't forget this kit button. I when at last they came to I the source that of the room's power. On! But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Oh, Dick. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Seagulls! Why are they drinking seawater though? Wouldn't they make them sick? Flamingos! I love flamingos! Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. <laughs> the mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. <laughs> Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom Jesus. because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could a have taken, a this token. one was surely the best. Bucket! And Stanley was happy. Shit, okay. It's a duck. Alright, there you go. There it is. Okay. It's... Frick! Okay, so wait. Hi, Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. Yo, should I stop picking up the fucking bucket, dude? Should I stop picking up the fucking bucket? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Okay. All right. Okay. All, right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Because is the bucket of Stanley bait. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply Maybe because I mean, like this bucket meme is kind of getting a little bit old, right? What if the purpose is not to use the bucket constantly? A good bucket. Okay. A strong bucket. A humble bucket. A committed bucket. A bucket of culture and distinction. Wait, let me try open up the doors with the bucket. Wait, what's inside here with... Wait, fuck it, maybe. Or 
20 with the bucket, perhaps? Back into my original room on the bucket, perhaps? Or 27. Stanley pressed the bucket upon every little thing in the office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? The secret window ending with the bucket! The window bucket ending! I can't get it, dude. No. Okay, nope. Nope. Okay, wait, let me think. Uh, I have to go right door, left... ...area. Down the hallway. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. Right this door. was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Fuck the lounge. Fuck that shit. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better though? No. Never mind. The yeah, we go left now. Okay. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Aha! Aha! Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere new! Yes, yes! That's what the fans want! Let's do it! Okay. Oh, wait, where's the Adventure Line? Okay, so we're gonna follow the Adventure Line past the baby. Okay. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Okay! Where am I going? Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. I time dropped the bucket. It's literally impossible. Don't smash it, okay? Don't smash it! It's literally impossible. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket <laughs> Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? 
Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance Jesus. that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Uh, rest in peace to the Bucket Destroyer. Had a good run. Okay. What the fuck? That's not what I fucking fucking pussy All my this ass to gone. What could it mean? Wait, I Stanley can't pick up the bucket. To, the meeting room. to get Perhaps to the red and blue area. Mr. Memo. Unless. Ah, the embrace of an Unless. old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Unless. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Unless we go this way again, except this we go past the elevator. The meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Yeah, had wait, the bucket this, turned out to be correct? This was this no? Again, Never this mind. Going this way. The bucket was wrong. Okay. Stanley took the door and on his left, left to go back, and, and we so skip the, the elevator. detoured through the maintenance section we'll and walked straight yes. ahead to the opposite door. Dude, frick off. Oh, you've got to be freaking ki Wait, I've done everything, right? That's it? Wait, I, so I had to drop the bucket. The bucket's derailing the story. You can't go there with the bucket. I'm bricked. Because I can't go... I've gone down. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the I've bucket up. walked upstairs to the boss's office. Wait, let me think. What have I not gone to? Let's think. I went into the elevator. I went into the bathroom. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. The bucket did not react. Except, except perhaps a tiny glow of warmth. Subtle, yes, but an unmistakable spark from somewhere deep within. It's raining now, which it normally isn't raining. 2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2845-2
This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was it's simply fucking the changing place on me, to boys. Be. It's fucking changing on me. Let's just drive in all doors. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yeah. No, never mind. I think I'm supposed to stay in that room. room. I think I'm supposed to stay Stanley in that room. Took the door on his left to go back to the meeting nope. room. Okay. This way. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go and there. Go to the car. Good. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. God damn it! That doesn't do anything! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers ah. really all be gone? Okay, white room with the bucket. Yes. Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret, and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, Give me the and abandoned figurine. as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps, if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket <laughs> furrowed its brow. <laughs> no, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the secret the amulet fuck? I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, oh, fuck. transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... My God, Stanley, you did it. You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. That's a lot of gore. Okay, what the fuck, though, dude? This doesn't Wait, progress me. Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure okay. that the orders stopped coming in? Okay. How is that possible? They never stopped. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. No, I have, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. I've done everything. I followed the bucket's orders. Dude. I was gonna leave fucking go right, cause I'm pretty sure that's where the blue and red room is, which apparently is where that stuff is. That's what I was gonna do. Uh. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm missing on the list. I need to go to a large room with lots of boxes. Stairs. Something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. I'm pretty sure I need to rest. I'm pretty sure I need to do this. I think I need to go begin the game again. This, I'm pretty sure this is what I gotta do. I appreciate sure I got it. Take notes, shit. Take notes. Take notes. We skipped the bucket. All of his co-workers were gone. What we skipped the bucket. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps no. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge this. first, just to admire it. We skip this. The lounge was grand. Majestic, perhaps too much, but eager to get back to business, Stanley and took the first you hop off the elevator. Left. And there's a fucking room. A Stanley blue and was red so room. bad at following directions; it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've got. Wait, there is a lot the of boxes there. Ah, oh. I'm not your enemy, really. Ah, oh, I can see it. I realize that I can see it. your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has Why been do I about get there? nothing but you all this time. I can see it. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Some what? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you how to show you something beautiful. Okay, we know that. We Look, know this. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay, now this is the blind red room. See, I couldn't go past because I had the bucket, so now I have no bucket. So now I can go past now blue and red room. Now this is important. Boom. Stanley walked through the red. Okay, I'm going back Bang! to the name of these little Stanley. I figurines. fucking knew it, and Jack. And I'm torn between Stanlorines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a Bucket small number run, in the baby. corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come. This is how you beat the game, chat. I'm convinced. This is how you beat the game. We get it. We get all these figurines. Okay, so now we know that one. Okay, so now blue, of course. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Go for the blue door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill, skill trees. trees? I love, I fucking love skill me. trees. You've given me absolutely I'll be honest, nothing skill trees so far. Make any game better. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Nice. Okay, I'm wow. going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Bye, for sure. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the Wait, game three. needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. So I should have done three. In your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking I through the I fucking doors? love leaderboards! Again, honest answers, please. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Let's go, dude. Look at these. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, nice. Fuck, 
bug? Wait, am I? Wait, that actually seems like a bug. I don't think it's supposed to do this. Wait, how? That's actually a bug. This is not supposed to happen, dude. Oh, fuck you, dude. Whatever, okay, I got the thing. It's fine. Okay, so we got that one now. And we know All there's another one. workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided bucket, to go right. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had... Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace. Protective, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compassionate. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. And this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had Shut felt the, the bucket up. calling to Shut him, telling him that, that the employee that. No, lounge was one. simply the place to be. Okay. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this... No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Okay, boys. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo Boom. lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by I'm then. I'm beating the game different when I get that shit, baby. That we used to have none of them, and now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Is there any way of surviving this? Maybe he's landing on that truck. Maybe we're landing on this pellet here. But Stanley feared that any path he walked okay. might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself Wait, to what? his death that they might die in one another's That's arms. That's cool, man. How deeply touching. There was no fucking door. Wait, was there a fucking door there? There was no fucking door. There was no door. What could it mean? Stanley decided to there go was to no the door. Ah, I'm going Stanley's back. Bucket, I'm the going back. The co-worker he would ever truly need. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. I'm this not. Don't. I do not. They have cosmetic room. eyes, and this Stanley is the blind place for chat. Bucket calling to him. Fucking him him him. The employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this... No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Ah. Go to the cargo lift. The vent! I found the vent! That was all me, Chad, all right? Okay, this is day number 295. Tape number... <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Oh, it doesn't make sense just strap it to you there's no explanation for it i still haven't figured out why just... i see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms Shit, man. why everything feels so what do i do with this treasure i can I can monetize it. Yes. 
It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful, because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? Wait, so which fucking Wait, figurine? Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? Is Stanley without the bucket really Stanley at all? No. Okay, well, nice. Uh, what happened to you, bro? You changed. You changed, bro. You changed. No, surely not. You changed. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest what and entered the door live Andy, dude. What a negative live Andy. Okay, wait, stairs. Something to do with the stairs. Print screen this, control V that. Something to do with the stairs. Follow clue fronted by employee 416. 416. 416. Control A, red. Make it big. Okay. Oh, fuck. 416. Okay, these are stairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Well, that was easy! And there it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This I got is it. a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. No, I'm getting a fucking reward. I would reward. tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here, and now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Take him out. Take him out, moderator. Take him out. Wait, what the fuck? It can't be just nothing, right? It can't be just... I didn't just do this for nothing. It can't just be a fucking bucket expansion. Wait, so how do I win then? He said, well done. Stepping into his manager's office. What is that? Maybe it's a new ending. You're starting. Wait, the room. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. 
Okay. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. Dude, that was fucking pretty bad, Jess. That moment was pretty fucking poggy. Would you not agree, chat? Interesting. Ah, <sighs> here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Don't you hate that? That feeling of, like, knowing that you can never do that thing that you did the first time again for the first time? I fucking hate that. Like, when you watch a really good TV series and you're, like, sad that you can't ever watch it again for the first time. Like, wouldn't it be amazing to watch Dragon Ball Z for the first time again? To do... Like, watch Breaking Bad again, dude. For the first time. You know? Oh, shit. Seven out of six. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? This is trippy. Okay, alright. You can never play Elden Ring for the first time again, chat. That's it. You've, you've done here it. here was a second Stan Lareen. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. That was I'll me. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Eight out of six. The red blue doors. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Wait, do I just intentionally pick the wrong answer? It was the doors. I know it was the doors. Let's just confuse him. I'm gonna go this way. Oh wow! There you go. Congrats, five good It's uh, Poggy's been over. I just confused the fuck out of him. Wow! Wow! Whoa! Hey, that's exactly right. It was here behind the boss's office. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. True. Ten out of six, let's go! This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. <laughs> No shot! I remember when I saw it, that was crazy! Holy fuck! Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Okay. And the 
final one. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine. Right here, under the stairs. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. And then there was no more because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. Um, uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the Memory Zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Okay, uh, all right, okay. All right, we're gonna just go backwards. Okay, go, going back this way. Can we go in? Okay, yes, that spot under the stairs, I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Are we just mind. stuck in a loop? Let's keep going, I want more. Oh my, let's go, what's six, wait, six plus six is twelve, what's twelve plus six, chat, that's, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen! And here's where I made that video, don't you remember the video we watched? I'm remembering, remembering. Yes, I love that video. That's what I'm doing right now, chat, I'm remembering, remembering getting the things. Still don't remember the pink. And this is a, this is a, this Still is not even real memory. Room. Good room though, a solid room. Oh no, am I gonna These remember really that? A treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of wait, this is the mechanic that's in a computer these, game, it dude. It really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Th th Next he's one. he's making fun of computer games that do this. Right, this is like World of Warcraft. Well, they and they just kept they keep spamming and spamming and spamming and adding the same bullshit and then going to infinity, to the point where it's no longer satisfying to fucking farm because it's just like you're a fucking hamster on a fucking treadmill going over and over and over and over. That's literally it, chat. That's literally what's happening. That's why I like games like Dark Souls feel so fucking good. Don't you remember? I don't do this yes, bullshit. I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is this it. The okay. very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? The exit sign? Collect them all. Collectibles. Yeah, I remember this. I was here. The jump. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hitting it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. But you give me fuck my jumps back, bitch. How about that, buddy? Oh, yes! The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Oh, shit. This is a ball. It's just a better... Yeah, the better ones are left. We're going left door. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Cool. 427. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. 
I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. So he's actually looping. So he's actually looping. So we're on the memory zone, dude. We're just a fucking... Infinity... Looping fucking... Figment of a... AI's imaginations. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. AI. Well, he's in the radar, dude. He's, he's AI. The f Am I picking the bucket up? I think it's out. I think I'm looping. I think I'm literally looping at this point. I think it's over. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I think it's it. It's like, I beat the game, right? Wait, is it it? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Reboot the game entirely. Reboot the game entirely. Do I do it now? Coming to a staircase, Stanley... I'm doing it. Quit out of the game. Steam. Library. Stanley. Bearable Ultra Deluxe. I only have two out of eleven of the achievements. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Two out of eleven? There's no shot, right? I'm at the fucking end of the game, right? Like, I took, I took like, infinity fucking screenshots as well, dude. What the fuck? Please end the current time. Oh, fuck me. What was it? Eight. Eight. Twenty-two. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you boot up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock and I appreciate that. That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing the time just sitting out correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you build the game, and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. Alright, I'll let you get back to the video game now. 
Wait, 420, dude? 420 for sure, right? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Is it the same intro? I do what Stanley it's different. Stanley worked company in a big I building can't. where he was employee I have to number watch it again. Oh, employee fuck. number 427's job was simple. Check he my sat notes. at his desk uh, and room for You're him. right. You're right. 344. 27, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them. And in <sighs> this is what employee 427 did yeah. every day of every month of every year. Of course that's what it's for. I'd have considered it soul rending. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley okay. was happy. And then one day something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never okay. quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Achievement unlock! Welcome back! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. As Stanley lifted his bucket, he felt a connection to all buckets everywhere. This adventure, he decided, was for all of them. Mm. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Mm. What's gonna be in this? What's gonna be in the room? The room's gonna taste a bit different, right? Surely. Well, nothing yet. Whoa! No! Fill up the bucket with cum. I, I don't think I can do that, Chad. I'm gonna be honest here. Uh... Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. I mean, I should maybe Coming reach out the game with a new time. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Yeah, I think I should. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was. But how would people figure that out? How would people figure that out? I mean, I did because I'm a fucking god gamer, but how would the average person figure that out? The average person is not going to figure this out, dude. Like, like literally, the average person is not going to figure this out. Cause they're not, they're not, they're not smart enough, right? They're not going to be able to like, they're not going to be on the next level, fucking brain, brain waves. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so wait. Zero three four four. Should have gone the other way. It's committed though. Ah, 0344. Your favorite time of the day. Whoa, could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy seeing the time correctly. Okay, now I'm so curious. How accurate 0344 AM is? Let's use another slider to find out. I'm accurate at 0.44 a.m. Inaccurate. You know, I can just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we have gone through the sliders I have. Hmm, perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip up a couple new ones. 
Should you be ready? Uh, should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. What the fuck do I need to play the game at? This fucking three. F okay, chat. All I've collected everything. I've done mean? all the endings. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. What am I Perhaps doing now? Simply missed a memo. What am I doing now? What up, no, dude? Get like a hint. Give me a hint. I'm, should I just go for the normal game? Should I just go for the normal game? Am I just gonna keep rebooting? I mean, really? Is that you can't just want me to spam reboot the game? Okay, fuck it. Let's just spam fucking reboot the fucking game. Let's just let's just reboot the fucking game, dude. I'm just gonna reboot the fucking game again. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pop the fuck off. This better be worth it, dude. This better be worth it, okay? It's the fact that I have to do it through Steam as well is fucking ridiculous. Okay. Anytime now. Any... Anytime now. Okay, well, it just worked. <sighs> Click on the door 433 times. Wait, five times. Wait. I should just slide it uh, until the computer is barely visible. Uh. Please just <laughs> slide until the dog and the cat are friends. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Please adjust the slider until the number five becomes number nine. Okay. Please just the slider until you've <laughs> adjusting the slider. Okay. Uh <laughs> which of the two step made it worse below is the most appealing to you? Uh O point Cal or Scrumptish. Scrumptish for sure. Ah Actually you know what? I won't go because it's the least likely word that people are gonna pick. Please don't adjust the slider. Do you know what time it is for you right now? Yes. Is that as the time that is right now the correct time? Yes. What time is it anyway? Yes. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yes. <laughs> Help. Okay. <laughs> Will you come back to visit me? Yes. Is this really my end game? All of this co work. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing. Whoa! Perhaps 50 clicks will do. Wait, what yes, happened? Almost certainly 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Am I gonna go to the... Holy fuck. Where's 417? 420. Ooh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Oh my god. 
Let me just fucking die. Four one five. 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 Six. Four one five. Now back to door number four three seven. Jesus Christ, mate! This is the end game. Let's see. How about you click on? Well, I don't know. The copy machine. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. <laughs> yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. <laughs> I don't know where it is! Chad, shut the fuck up, I'm dyslexic! We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! Oh my god, I'm... I'm a clown, dude. What the fuck is this? He's just fucking with me, dude. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door four, three, zero! One, two, three, four, five. Yes! <laughs> we did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. <sighs> oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. <laughs> yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was don't worth smash five it. little okay, Don't smash it! Really, now? What were you thinking? Okay, what a, well, okay. Am I just going for the game with the bucket now? What am I doing now? Okay, how do we, how are we actually beating the game? I'm fucking done, bro. Just restart. Okay. Don't smash it. Okay, don't smash it! Reset the game one time. Exit the menu. Okay, we're gonna reset the game. We're gonna reset the game one more time. Go reset the game. Play. Okay. It's not done. I've beaten the game, bro. I've clearly beaten the game. But like, I need it to fucking. I need it to get the ending. Otherwise, if I don't get the ending, then what the fuck? What time is it? Does he not really, truly know? What's it's, it's a social construct. Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I adjusted all of the uh, game settings to uh, your exact specification, but who hasn't? Just what job I do, like a day job. And now the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can, and I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither is know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm actually going to be totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? This, that's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There's still one more setting I'd like, uh, we need to adjust. But it may take a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. Oh, shit, dude. Wait, what the fuck? Epilogue? Many, many years later.
was doing when I got this? Oh shit. Nine's blog. Cookie Nine, and no way, bro. It's it, he's come back. The review of the Stanley Parable Two, posted on April 29th. Cookie, Cookie Nine. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. Well, the first game teemed with originality. Stanley Parable Two is dull, uninspired, and often. Insult, uh, wait, and often insulting to its fan base. Rather than uh, expand on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory nobody asked for. An infinitely deep hole. Who cares? What are the new endings? What are the uh, what about the enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable One, like the adventure line? Instead, we get an uninspired cyclist collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Closing all the figurines gives you nothing, I must say, though. I found the bucket to be quite comforting. A welcome reprieve. I'll be honest, the bucket was my least favorite thing about this. Uh, like, if you removed all the bucket shit, which would be like half of it, the game would be w better. It's st like, straight up. I'm not a bucket fan. The bucket meme like was good like a couple times and then it's like us is like holy Jim 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 Yeah I'm not a Jim. bucket enjoy I'm doing I'm we're gonna be honest here the bucket I'm not a bucket enjoyer Tell the parable developers no more spin-offs no more sequels On the stand of the parable launched to the max of success in 2013 his creators made plans to build the property into a uh, entire franchise but a disastrous and critical uh, commercial uh, reception of the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to th rethink their ambitions, as outlined in a press release they published today. It's clear that the uh, more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want. It's a press release. We thought that we had a vision for the series that the players would be excited about, yet it turns out this could not have been further from the truth. The press release goes on uh, to promise preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. Okay. Cookies 9 is actually real? What's Cookie 9 actually real? Okay, dude. Jim. Jim. 
chat Vivon Zulu Yes Let's fucking go, bro. Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Barrel game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. If people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together, we're going to make Stanley Parable 3. Simple. All we need to do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also really need a dumb subtitle uh, for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead. Try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. Um, okay. Stanley's tiny snag. Okay, there we go. Stanley Parable 3. Stanley's tiny snake. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll uh, advance the number of sequel by one. And then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game uh nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content recycled again and again with a new title screen. <laughs> Bro, this guy is fucking hates Blizzard, man. This guy fucking hates Blizzard. He's wait, everyone to be fair, maybe I'm projecting. Everyone's saying different games. Actually, Overwatch, what's like Overwatch is World of Warcraft. It's fucking everything, bro. Like. It's like, it's like, just let it fucking die, man. Just let it fucking die, you know? And just make some, some, make some new shit. Right? Like, it's like Marvel. It's like the Marvel movies. It's the same exact shit. Rehashed over and over, bro. Okay. And they just keep changing it slightly. Don't smash, special it. Effects, okay, don't smash it. Modify, whatever. Okay, boom. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I don't want uh, to have all to say. Let's do it. Good. It's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you've put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something else as well. See, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give uh, you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to, to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. Wait, do I do the secret time, or do I get 420? 0344, let's go to the secret time. Thank you, please enjoy Stanley Parable. You are now playing the Stanley Parable. Stanley's tiny snake. <laughs> Yo, new game! This is the story of a man named Stan. I'll get to the book. I got to Okay. 
Wait, where the fuck was All it? Of co where was the achievement gone. machine? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply Reboot? missed the memo. Okay, where the fuck am I? Steam. Holy fuck, my ass, dude. Finally, okay, I'm going again. <laughs> okay, outstretched. I mean, tax disc. You're now playing Stanley Parable 4. Outstretched text disc. <laughs> this is the story. Oh my god, imagine if you had a slow computer, bro. Imagine if you had a slow fucking computer, bro. Wait, exit game, play. Infinite value. What am I doing? Making it. Uh, bro, I'm trying to fucking beat the game, bitch! Multiple games today, dude. Okay, the original pirate. Oh, wait, avoid the content. It's only Parable 5. Avoid the content. Wait, do you really think I should go epilogue? I don't know. I think epilogue's, I think epilogue's anything different. Epilogue. Unless we get another epilogue. I think it's exactly this. Stanley Parable, Quinn Stream. Just shut the fuck up. I just want to beat the game! Say I beat the fucking games! I can fucking say I beat the game! Otherwise, I can say I failed the fucking venture! Holy shit! Okay. Attack on hull. Yeah, well, I guess we're gonna go with that. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's get to me. Let's get to me. Stanley Parable Six. Wait, am I gonna? Is something gonna happen? Is something gonna happen? I have to get to 100? Okay, wait, where the fuck was the machine? Where the fuck was the machine? Where the fuck was the machine? Can you guys remember where the fucking machine was? It was in the content zone. All of zone. his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had Wasn't it in the new the content manner. zone? Oh, the new content zone's back! Wait, the new content zone's back. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I didn't take the bucket, fuck. I don't need to take the fucking bucket with me. Why would I take the fucking bucket? Why, I need to take the bucket. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Yep. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features okay. I've been developing for it. 
I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will oh. sort of naturally spring oh. up around them. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Infinite hall. Wait. Achievement. It's fixed, right? Now I beat the fucking game when I get this fucking achievement. Because it's fixed. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to okay. you. It's as simple as that. I got as you it! Can see, the machine is not working yet since. What? Wait. What in the holy hell is going on? You got the achievement? Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um... It truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. Just breathe. Is that it? Go to the sitting room. Okay, go to the sitting room. You're right. The sitting room. Wait, where the fuck was the sitting What else? Room? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Settings Calling it the Stanley Champion. Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation. All right, have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Wait, what is this? I'm going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. Bitch! I was trying to go to the options area! It's fucking confusing to get to! It's up a fucking staircase, bro! I'm fucking dyslexic, bitch! Fuck you! I'm fucking trying here! Okay, where is it? It's over... So we're there. It's through there to the left. Infinite hole. I'm fucking just looks educates that yeah, there yeah 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 standing full champion okay okay I can't fucking go there can I I can't fucking go there What do you mean I need to reboot? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. What new mysteries lay in store for our bucket-loving heroes today? Let's find out. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? I'm about to restart my dick in your mom's ass. Yeah, shut the hell up. Wait, I'm performed. I shouldn't say that. I'm about to. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. 
please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Wait, Stanley, I've just now realized that bucket you're holding, it's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. How did you get your hands on it? Isn't this the preview to the sequel? How do you have the bucket already? This, this makes no sense at all. Let me beat the Hold game. On. Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? I don't remember doing that at all. You're seeing things all out of order. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Can't jump. The infinite hole, the giant door. Did you see them already? Yeah, I did. Stanley, none of them are ready yet. I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look when you saw them? Were they captivating? Were they exciting? Did they fulfill on the promise of Wait, everything? The narrative is about like some time could possibly be. Some, some like figured out time how traveling to make Andy's, a right? to this game? I don't have any jumps. This is bullshit. How do I get my fucking jumps Wait, back? If you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. Yes. You carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. The bucket is the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. No! I do it! I win! I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable! Yes, the sign is correct. Thank you for enjoying the new content. Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you. Clinging tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. It means I've won. It means I am victorious over the gamers. It is a sweet salve of victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win. 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 Does the ending I want exist? All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It does. Okay, what? Where? I've been in my own office. Now I've this, Stanley thought to himself. I've even I've done it in my I've done it in my bucket, bucket right? Or I tried to. And indeed, it was. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I've, t I feel like I've done everything. I've gone there. Fuck. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Chat. Yeah. Where are we going? All right, no, okay, okay, no, no longer blind, no longer blind playthrough, no longer blind playthrough. I'm fucking done, dude. Go to the wife already. Okay, wife. Okay, all wife. of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Wife is no Stanley bucket. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No bucket. When nope. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, to, and Stanley knew right. perfectly well. I think I remember Perhaps this. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on I the I am the foot. card gamer! I've I'm already beaten this really game, bitch! This is just I a deluxe edition! Your trust in which apparently is the fucking the exact same game, except it's got a bucket! nothing but you all this time. 
There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I must. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Okay. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Good morning, employee 47. Press B on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press, press M. Look at him there, pushing <laughs> buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. <laughs> X. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press B to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press Q to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Press Q to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Press K to tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press A to tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. It's How too, could there possibly it's be? too real, bro. In reality, shit. all he's doing oh. is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Press Z to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? 
How can I make him look at himself? Chris, why the question nothing? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. <laughs> Please die? Jesus Christ, game devs. Why the fuck did I need to do that, chat? Explain to me why the fuck I need to do that. I fucking need to do that, did I? I can't wait to tell this story to my co workers, Stanley Thorpe. They do this. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Okay. No buckets. When Stanley came to a set of two door, open doors. This was not down the this way. way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Okay. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Nothing over here, right? Nothing over here? Okay, we're gonna try the vent. Vent, no bucket. I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm about to give up, chat. Come on, so good. quit. It's finished. Came on, so good and Quinn is rushing to fish. I fucking love Stanley Parable, bro, but Stanley like, I've no done everything. so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun just so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun oh, unless? so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun just so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun just so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the You didn't think I was actually so just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Uh, like I've done this no, before, I'm right? Sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all in the your old game. Fault. What? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That... Chat. I've beaten Stanley Parable before the original. Wait, I think I've already beaten the game. Yes, that's why I'm rushing it. What, what do you mean? Why are we even rushing yes. it? The bucket. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. What's well, because I've done everything? I mean, what do you mean? I've literally done everything. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay. Let me think. I do enter the end. I press no. The bucket said no, it needs to get the bucket. I press yes, it's showing me fucking pictures of birds. I went to the left of that, I got destroyed, and the bucket got destroyed. I press three a bunch, the bucket just gets slightly, you know. Unplug the phone. Okay, we're gonna go this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. We're gonna unplug the Stanley phone. Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket okay. turned out to be correct? Was this no? Never mind. The bucket was. I went wrong. down to the baby area. Stanley took the door on his left. With the bucket. To go back to the meeting room. I kill myself with the bucket. No. Said the I went bucket. to the no bucket Don't zone. Go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. 
There's something up there I, I need to I went to the right with do. the bucket. Stanley did not question I why went or how there this with the bucket, bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did I whatever did the bucket I didn't vote three. Asked. Wait, maybe I fucking bricked it whenever I bugged out in, in that here, area. Said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. I why no? I went to the bucket zone. It said no bucket zone, and it's yeah. Okay. Now pick up the. F Whoa! Hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders, Stanley? I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ugh. Can't you see? I'm oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. Wait, okay. What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke no, will laugh, joke and like then it. spell out your name a second <laughs> you know? time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, we're each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us, and their children after them. Godspeed, and may Earth reign supreme! Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. Okay. Okay. Okay, secret ending unlocked. Okay, we're going. I can feel it. This time, 
I'm really going I'm to ready, nail dude, the I'm delivery. I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we have the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Okay. We'll wrap, so, okay, let's keep going. Okay, we're going this way now. All right, we're going back. But he he said bucket, but like like two it, dude. That was funny when he did that. I like when he does that voice. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work oh, now. I've done. It the up. joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. Oh, oh my. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you Wait, couldn't watch a simple video up? and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing did me I down, Did I actually Stanley? fuck it up? Are you proud? Oh my fucking god! Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, okay. Okay, they entered god. the door on the left. What? Uh, we're back at the phone already? No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling whelp. I think... I think I need to go please, back no. and rewatch that please, instructional video Please, don't, don't waste again. watch it again, bro, please. Yes, surely that will help me improve my... Stanley, you love the bucket so much. Yes! You like to, um, it's as though all of your other most... Yes! Yes! ...pale in comparison. Let's fucking go! Let, well, let me try that again. Suck then. my... I heard that you are Fuck you! Shame over how unabashedly in love with a fucking you easy! Are. No, still not. It, is it the delivery? Easy! Pale with shame. Pale with shame. Pale. Fucking. What's another word to describe a bucket? Ugh. Stanley, this bucket is so mental. I think I saw it playing guitar. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I'm just. I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. That's the end. I won, right? I won, right? That's it? That's it. Tell me this. It's over. I fucking did it. I beat the game. I beat the game. Successful venture. What can I say, chat? Yep, what can I say, chat? What do you mean, no, don't say no. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. That's the end, bitch, fuck you. I'm done, I got the, I got the credits. Uh, chick steam, what do you mean? I took five out of 11, that's most, that's, that's heaps, bro. It's fucking all of them, bro, what do you mean? Okay, bro, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest, bro. No, you're not. I guarantee you that's, like, I guarantee you, like, what the fuck are the achievements? I guarantee you I've done more than half of the game. Like, I guarantee you I've done, like, 90% of the game. It's just some random bullshit. Play something parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Complete simply parable under 4 minutes and 22 seconds, not including load times. Set all settings sliders in the menu. 
uh, to all the available numbers. But what are you talking about? Don't play the Stanley Parable for 10 years. Chad, I beat... I, what do you mean I beat the game? Wait, dude. Dude, wait, what the fuck is that? Uh, dude, what do you mean? No, I've beaten the game. I've beaten the game. I got the fucking credits. I got the fucking credits. I got the credits. Wait. Stanley Parable Annie's. Have I beaten the game? I have, right? I actually have, right? That was the get beating of the game. I did just get the, the credits. Wait, unironically? What do you mean it was old game credits? There was literally... Fr th that scene was a bucket scene. It was a bucket scene. Do you understand? The game was a bucket scene. He was literally making bucket jokes that didn't exist in the first game. I followed the instructions. What are you talking about? Oh, you guys are retarded. I've been in the game. You're so dumb. Those other achievements are meme achievements, dude. They're fucking memes. You literally like... It's 10 years to get one of those fucking achievements. Are you this fucking dumb? Are you this fucking slow chat? Are you this fucking... Uh, holy shit, bro. Begin the game. Look. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the... 2835? 2835. 2835. 2845. 2845. Fucking dyslexic, then. Fucking dyslexic. Truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number 2845. But of course, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing! He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I didn't get a sanction. I've literally done this. But I've beaten the game. You guys understand I've beaten the game, right? The game is beaten. I've literally got the credits. It's done. Like, the, the, the game Descending is done. Deeper into the building, There's probably some autistic ending peculiar. where I put the it bucket on my ass, do a 360, as walk outside, fucking himself. walk to back inside, the click a door five times, press now? 33333, and he says, like, this two words different. That's probably... For long. You understand? You're retarded. I've beaten the game, James. Stanley walked straight this ahead through the large door that read Mind Control it. Facility. I would, dude. 
The lights rose on an enormous room Fucking packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Fuck. Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay, yep. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many... Individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't Why it? Why am I so triggered? Was it even possible? Had it I'm so glad that I'm fucking right! I know I've been in the game, the and you're world. forcing me to do this! Do this shit, I look for no fucking reason! But here was the proof. I the fucking been in the fucking game! Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Mm. Wait, dismantle the controls? already played the original game chat and done every fucking ending. Wait, what? This is what it means, right? Tell me to turn it off. Bitch. And now I've done all the fucking endings. That's, that's that, right? You're supposed to say turn it off. Yo, you're supposed to say turn it off, bitch. You're supposed to just press it off. blackness, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments Already away. Done Already done this. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, okay. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing.
Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Beat the game. Fuck you. Dumb fucks. You fucked on our side. And I've already done that inning. I'd already done that inning in the previous game. Bruh! So dumb! Okay, the game's beaten. Alright. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. Stanley Parable Deluxe. Comments rash. Comments rash. I think it would be really good if you hadn't played the first one. If you hadn't played the first one. No. If you had it. The, I think that. I think it would be a better version than the original. Right. If you're playing it for the first time. But it wasn't. Diff the bucket. They just did the same stories. But then they just insert bucket. Bucket, bucket. If you okay, if they just done deluxe, except remove the bucket memes. Remove okay, remove ninety percent of the bucket memes. It would have been good. Like the memory palace, all that shit was pretty good. But you know, uh, was the the bucket made it one hundred percent worth the cash? Really? I mean, no, it was. I would say that was like. The, the original game was a ten out of ten or a nine out of ten, right? Let's be honest. The original game was like a nine out of ten. At least. Minimum. This game is not a 9 out of 10. It's not original enough, unfortunately. The, 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 the reviews that they... The, the, the fake reviews that they made, unironically correct, just didn't... wasn't as captivating. Uh, uh, and Because the original one, like, blew your fucking mind. But this one didn't blow my mind. Uh, you know? Didn't have didn't have that same... Didn't, 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 just didn't have that vibe. I'm, I'm, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm inclined to agree with Cookie Nine, dude. Cookie Nine was right. It's not a new game. Whatever, dude. Um, you still have 25 minutes on the clock, sir. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Trying to be doing a full stream today. Thanks, Frog. Uh, yeah, we had a good run, chat. Um, today was a good day. Ultimately destroyed a game with ease. Reformed takes around the uh, around the board. You know, we're talking just fully reformed ultra. Um, ban a lot tomorrow. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. I don't even know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Either I will come with a plan, or I will just not come at all. Okay. So either there will be a plan, or I'll just fucking, yeah, take my first unironic day off in like over. I haven't taken a chat. You understand? I haven't taken a day off in literally. Like, something like 500 or something days. I have not missed a stream. Unless I have been banned, I have not missed a stream. I have not, I have, unless I have been banned, I have not missed a stream. So I might, you know what, I might just be like, fuck it. The, the, getting banned of Twitch is not a fucking day off, dude. Dumb fucks. Getting banned of Twitch is like one of the most stressful fucking times of your life. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you insane? Dude! I can literally get permanently banned off Twitch unironically. Are you insane? Shit's scary as fuck. We'll see. We'll see, boys. All right, boys. Either I see you tomorrow or I don't. Regardless, thank you very much for chilling out. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. GG's, boys. GG's. If you have any ideas, uh, tweet them at me. Just at, at, at Quinrex on Twitter. If you have uh, any ideas for games and shit.